Greetings and welcome to School for Advanced Studies. We, today we have the fortune of having two students from School for Advanced Studies. My name is Omar Montiagudo and I'm the principal of the, this nationally recognized High School of Excellence. Today we have Carla Cepeda and Rebecca King who will be providing us with information regarding this phenomenal program offered here at Miami-Dade College. School for Advanced Studies is a nationally recognized high school joint collaboration between Miami-Dade County Public Schools and Miami-Dade College which initiated in 1988-1989 school year. School for Advanced Studies is located on four campuses of Miami-Dade College, North Campus, Kendall Campus, Homestead Campus, and the Wilson Campus. This nationally recognized high school is recognized by both Newsweek Magazine and the Washington Post as being one of the best high schools in America. In fact, just this summer, School for Advanced Studies was ranked by Newsweek Magazine as the 28th best high school in America and ranked 27th by the Washington Post uh, as the, one of the premier high schools in the United States. School for Advanced Studies is a full-time dual enrollment program that affords students who are in the last two years of their high school to be able to take courses uh, to satisfy the first two years of college. Uh, today we uh, have Rebecca and we have Carla who will be able to provide us information regarding the program and why they applied. Rebecca, beginning with you, can you provide us with why and how you found out about our program, why you applied? Well, um, before attending School for Advanced Studies, I knew some people who actually went to the school and they told me so many great things about it. They told me the opportunities that they were given of actually finishing two years of college while in high school as well as just getting ahead. And so I said, wow, like that's a really good experience and I should try to get into that. And so I did. I received the letter actually in the mail and then I went to the orientation and after the orientation, I was just working my way by taking the CPT and trying to get into the school. Perfect. And Carla, why did you decide to attend School for Advanced Studies? Um, I decided to attend School for Advanced Studies. Um, unlike Rebecca, I had no idea about the program, but I did hear many good things about how I can get ahead in college. And since the career I chose is pretty long, I decided, let me see if I could cut two years by going. And after the whole application process, as Rebecca explained, which was you got your mail when you're in 10th grade, you get the letter that says you're welcome to come and attend School for Advanced Studies. You need to do this, this, and this. And we went to the orientation where they told us even more things we had to do. And after the CPTs, once you accomplish them, you're in and all of a sudden you're in this school and it's just a great experience. Now, let me understand this. You're taking college level work alongside other adults in the morning here at Miami-Dade College and in addition to that you also have a full high school load is that correct? That is correct. So you're taking for instance three to four uh, college courses and in addition you're taking advanced placement. What are some of the advanced placement high school courses that you're currently taking? Currently as my senior year I am taking AP Calculus, I am taking AP Literature and English, and AP Government and Comparative which is also politics because he decides to split it up into two. And uh, Rebecca, how many credits are you taking? I'm, I'm assuming you're taking the same high school workload, but how many cred college credits are you taking in addition to your high school load? Well, me, myself, I am taking 12 credits, but other students, depending on your course, they are taking up to maybe 13, because the credits usually go from three to four. So class. right now you're taking 12, 13 credits, and you're taking all this incredible workload. How do you manage to balance uh, the workload, the stress involved, and how have you been able to acclimate yourself into a college environment and still be able to have some sanity? Uh, let me go ahead and start with Carla. I remember in my junior year, it was difficult. You're entering this new school with new people, and luckily I had known some people that came from my old high school with me. But it was still difficult, but as the time went along, I managed to, you know, not procrastinate as much as I used to my old, other high school. I had friends who supported me in every step of the way. The teachers are really helpful, so if you're struggling with something, you can always go talk to them and they can always help clear out. And now in my senior year, I am breeze free, like I just passing all my classes, uh, the college classes are a breeze and it's just spectacular. <laughs> now it's my understanding that both of you would actually be earning your AA. Uh, degree at the same time you're graduating from high school is that correct yes mm -hmm. perfect so you already will have 60 college credits 
Uh, one of the unique uh, aspects of our program is the fact that our students are afforded the opportunity to take college level courses and the tuition is covered by the state of Florida. So these are students that are not paying for tuition, are not paying for fees or for books. So this is an extraordinary program that is an incredible benefit to our students. We are talking about students who are 16, 17 year old graduating from high school and in addition to that they're graduating with their AA degree. Now, uh, unlike a traditional high school, what can you tell me about the activities we have here? Uh, are you involved in any uh, clubs or activities at School for Advanced Studies? Yes, I'm involved in actually um, many clubs that we also created. The students run the clubs. Um, we do have sponsors, which is our teachers, but most of it is done by the students. Currently, I am the Student Government Association. I'm the vice president, and we do have many events to care for. We are the liaison of the student body, pretty much. <laughs> and we also have um, Gay Straight Alliance. We have the Key Club, which yes. Rebecca can tell you more about. Um, our Key Club is basically uh, giving the opportunity to the students to gain community service hours because in most schools, the minimum community service is 25 hours. We're actually in this school, it's 75, which possibly um, may move up to 100. And, and our main goal for the Key Club is just to help the students with maybe walkathons or just going to a, a shelter and giving out food. And actually, next week, our school will be having um, a project with our Key Club. We'll be um, cr making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, pack packaging them up, and providing them um, to a shelter, the Camilla's house, actually. Perfect. Uh, let me ask you, when it comes to the fact that we're a very small school, what would you say the relationship that you have with your teachers? Um, how would you characterize this? Would you characterize School for Advanced Studies, given its size, as being a family? And if so, why would you say that? I would say that it's very close. The fact that it's smaller allows us to know everyone, whereas in a bigger school where they have maybe um, over 200 kids, they, no one even knows who's in their class. Somebody may be in the back of the room and they don't even know them. But in this class with smaller teachers, you have um, better communication because the teachers are actually able to have more private time with their students and actually help them and assist them in the problems that they're having. And this, the teachers at the school, they make it very comfortable for us to actually go to them. They let us know that in their break time or when we have break time that they're available to us and if we have a problem we can go and we can get assistance. Carla, let me understand, uh, there's a research class where the counselor uh, is actually teaching the class. This is very unusual since in traditional high schools uh, you don't have the counselor teaching classes and having daily interactions with students. Uh, in our program uh, the counselor not only serves as a guidance counselor but a cap advisor, trust counselor. So how would you characterize uh, the relationship that all the students have with the counselor through research? What is the research uh, course like and how is that beneficial in making sure that not only do you complete your AA but that you're able to transition uh, after Miami Dade College? Dr. Townsor, our counselor, is a great guy. He's very friendly. I remember my first day he was the first one to speak to me and I felt really nice about that hey this is really friendly it might be all right and the research class Dr. Townsell has both seniors and juniors of course in his class and in our junior year he helped us pick our classes help get our degree audit to see what our AA should orient to and as our senior year is he helps us with our scholarships he's helping us with our college essays he's helping us you know finish up our a degree and we're just closing up before we graduate sure uh carla what are you planning of doing uh, after sas uh, after you graduate from miami Dade college with both a high school and a miami Dade college uh, degree well after i graduate college and also universities and all that i plan on being veterinarian so of course that's a lot of years of studying which sas is helping me cut down and I guess I really want to go to Cornell or UC Davis or Texas A&M where it's one of the top three colleges for veterinary medicine. Do you feel that uh, your experience here and your preparation here at SAS and at Miami Dade College has adequately prepared you for this? Oh yes, definitely. I mean, um, even with college professors, they sometimes know if you're a high school or don't even mention it at all and they are very useful for information and can even write your recommendation letters if you want to go on. Well, well uh, what uh, advice, Rebecca, would you have for any of our students uh, that are watching or parents that are watching regarding contemplating attending school for advanced studies? I would say take the chance. 
because even though some students they consider the fact that they're leaving a lot behind the sports the friends the activities but the friends they'll always be there the activities they will always be there and it's just such a great opportunity if you can grab it take it because it's free it's convenient we have bus services that are willing to go to um, a location that is near your house and if they want to do activities like sports or anything else they can just go simply to their home school and do those sports well thank you very much and uh, thank you for sharing that information and giving a student perspective uh, we will come back to the se next segment after a break with additional information of uh, school for advanced studies to School for Advanced Studies. Joining us today is Dr. Michael Townsville and Mr. Dennis Lindsay, and my name is Oman Montiagudo, Principal, School for Advanced Studies. Uh, today we are discussing the School for Advanced uh, Studies program located at Miami-Dade College, a nationally recognized high school of excellence which affords high school students the opportunity to be able to complete the first two years of college during the last two years of high school. And to provide us with additional information about this unique program, I would like to turn at this time to Dr. Michael Townsville to be able to provide us with some general information to our parents and guests and others that might be watching <coughs> the program. What are the entry requirements for our students to be able to attend School for Advanced Studies? School for Advanced Studies is a high school for juniors and seniors uh, here in Dade County. The requirements for entrance will include uh, completion of ninth and 10th grade with respect to course completion. They must have an unweighted GPA of a 3.0. They must also submit an application for admissions through the School for Advanced Studies, which will also include an application for Miami-Dade College. Uh, once that is submitted and the information is then processed through our office and Miami-Dade College's office, uh, the student will be required to take a college entrance exam and upon completion of the exam and successfully right. earning a passing score right. on the exam at that point they will uh, then be notified of their acceptance. Now let me ask you what is a typical student that applies to school for advanced studies? Do Is it normally students from a public school or is it open to anyone in the county? It's actually open to everyone in the county. Uh, several of the students that actually attend uh, School for Advanced Studies throughout the district are students that actually come from private schools, charter schools, as well as public schools uh, in the uh, inner city schools as well as the suburbs. So we get a wide variety of students uh, and our population actually reflects it's, that. It's very diverse. Okay, yes. Mr. Lindsay, we're located in the entire county. Uh, very diverse. We're able to cover all four corners of the county. Uh, can you provide us some information on the uniqueness of our program and how parents can take advantage of learning about our program? Well, we really look at, at the School for Advanced Studies as the, as the crown jewel right. of, of, uh, of the Miami-Dade County Public Schools and right. Miami-Dade College because it is a true partnership between those two institutions, Miami-Dade right. uh, County Public Schools and Miami-Dade College. And as was earlier uh, mentioned, we're located on four different campuses of Miami-Dade College. So we cover really from points all the way down to Florida City, all the way up to Aventura. Okay. And, uh, and we have uh, transportation that's provided to the, uh, the closest campus for those students. Okay. And um, it was mentioned earlier right. that, that uh, Newsweek Magazine right. has rated uh, School for Advanced Studies as the 28th best high school right. in the United States. But what I would like to mention is that there is no other high school higher than 28th south of Orlando. So literally, 
The School for Advanced Studies is the number one high school from Orlando down to Key West, according to Newsweek Magazine and the Washington Post, who also did a similar uh, rating scale. Well, in our previous segment, we had an opportunity to hear from two students that attend School for Advanced Studies, and two of which are attending one of our campuses here at North Campus uh, that are earning their A. Uh, when we take a look at this, in essence, it's a two-year scholarship that these students are receiving from our program where they're not paying for books, they're not paying for tuition, uh, they're not paying for any fees, and they're getting, in essence, a two-year head start in their college education. And, and that's the, one of the great things about it is that mm -hmm. a student can graduate from high school and have their two-year AA degree finished at Miami-Dade College at the same time they graduate from high school and then move on to whether it be a state university in Florida, such as the University of Florida or FSU or the University of Central Florida, or outside of the state of Florida. Many of our students are going to Ivy League schools after they graduate from the School for Advanced Studies, or other schools, uh, Stanford, uh, the University of Chicago, Northwestern, Duke, uh, North Carolina, all around the United States, the School for Advanced Studies has earned a reputation as one of the high, uh, finest high schools in the United States. But if they do go, for example, to a state university in Florida, the average cost, for example, at the University of Florida for a student is about $18,000 a year. If a student can graduate from our program and go on to the University of Florida right after high school and begin there as a junior, they have literally saved $36,000. And, and that's not only at a state university. If they were to transfer to University of Miami, the savings will be even more. Now, these students, are they being admitted to uh, universities after graduating from School for Advanced Studies? And what are typical universities that they're being accepted into? I understand that <coughs> the School for Advanced Studies has an Ivy League initiative, and uh, there's an annual tour uh, to try to expose students. Uh, are these students being uh, exposed and being admitted to these fine universities? When we look at the School for Advanced Studies and the pride that we have within the school is make, as far as making sure that our students are the best uh, and the brightest that they can be before right. leaving uh, our hands. Right. Uh, once they apply to schools outside of the state of Florida, as well as those in the state of right. Florida, we've noticed that we've gotten great reception from many of the institutions up in the Northeast. Okay. Uh, University of Pennsylvania, for example, uh, has actually called and uh, they'd like to come and speak to us. And I think that's partially because of the fact that we were able to take a large number of our students on an annual basis uh, to their institutions so that they'll be able to see firsthand the caliber of scholars that we okay. produce at School for Advanced Studies. Excellent. And I also understand there's also even a Florida tour where you have an opportunity to bring individuals in to the universities to try to expose students. Uh, in fact, we have something scheduled for the spring where we're taking a large group of SAS students uh, to visit state universities. So this is really part of our outreach to be able to expose our students not only to universities here in South Florida, but to be able to expose them throughout the state of Florida and throughout the nation. And our students are being admitted to these universities uh, last time I took a look at, we had over $12.5 million in scholarships being awarded to our students. So being in our program is not only an incredible cost savings, scholarships are being awarded. Now, what I would like to turn to is something that some of the other students mentioned, this research class, where yes. the counselors at the four campuses School for Advanced Studies have daily interaction. There is a structured curriculum where you're able to provide them with information regarding post-secondary planning, stress management, time management. I can imagine that for a student attending School for Advanced Studies initially it could be very intimidating. Uh, they're not sure whether they're cut out for a program such that is so rigorous. Uh, traditionally, when I think about students having a full uh, college schedule uh, and workload, I'm thinking about 12 credits, 13 credits. These students are already doing this. And in addition to that, they have very rigorous coursework. In fact, Carla uh, and uh, the other student had mentioned that they're taking advanced placement calculus. They're taking AP government, AP comparative politics, AP literature and composition. And on top of that, they're taking 12, 13 credits, very rigorous courses here at Miami-Dade College. So I can imagine this is quite overwhelming, but yet we're getting students who are graduating from our campuses with their AA. How do you do it? How does your group, your counselors, as part of this research do it? I think when you look at the structure of the School for Advanced Studies, in the sense that we're given a small uh, group of students and scholars to work with, it gives us an opportunity to work hands-on with them to actually guide them through the process of college admissions, as well as work with them uh, as far as handling 
the, the pressures of the classes that they have. So when it comes to the, the types of students that we have and the classes that they're taking, we've noticed that once we support them as a staff, right. uh, we're able to give them the encouragement that they're able to move on. I'm proud to say that uh, we have a group of uh, eight students, I call them the grade eight, right. that's actually taking Calculus two wow. as seniors in high school, which is generally a course that's offered for college students during their second or third year uh, in an academic program. Uh, these are the types of uh, school students that we're dealing with on a daily basis. So I think when we start to talk about uh, counseling and how I'm able to interact with them, uh, it gives me an opportunity to not only show them the benefits of taking these courses at this particular time, but also to give them the emotional and, uh, and social support that they can get uh, through this problem and through those courses uh, in a successful manner. Now, let me understand, when an individual attends school for advanced studies, do they break away completely with their high school in the sense, homeschool, in the sense that are they still able to participate in extracurricular activities, sports, for instance? Mm -hmm. If I'm a student, let's say, at Hialeah or Killian or in Palmetto, uh, would I still be able to participate in extracurricular activities, for instance, sports, which is one of the things that is not offered here at school for advanced studies? In fact, uh, one of the scholars that you spoke to earlier today, uh, Rebecca, is a volleyball player at uh, one of the local high schools here. It's her home school. Uh, so she has an opportunity to not only come here to uh, School for Advanced Studies here at Miami-Dade College and gain a, a top rate in uh, academic uh, education, but she's also able in the afternoon to participate in volleyball and, and do well at a sport. So to answer your question, yes, our students can come to the School for Advanced Studies as well as in the afternoon participate in athletics and extracurricular activities at their home school. That must be incredible for these students. Yes. Uh, and Mr. Lindsay, uh, the last question for you here is what advice, what recommendations do you have for parents watching the program uh, regarding applying to school for advanced studies? What recommendation quickly can you provide us? Okay, well, uh, briefly, let me just say that we just had on uh, Saturday, September 24th, we had our meetings at the Kendall and the Homestead campuses where we distributed applications and we will be holding meetings here at the North Campus um, on Saturday, October 15th at 9 a.m. in the Lehman Theater. And then on that same day at the Wolfson Campus at 1 p.m. in room 7128. And interested people can come and learn more about the program and we will tell them all about it and we will provide applications if they're interested and, and tell them about that process and how they can get involved. Believe it or not, there, uh, this is the appropriate time for the parent and of a 10th grade student right. to initiate the application process because it does take a while uh, with anticipation of beginning as an 11th grader right. next August. Excellent. Well, everyone would concur that this is a unique program. We have an incredible value to be able to provide for our viewers. Uh, I would like to thank you for being here uh, in our program today, and I would like to thank the viewers out there for watching our program. Until next time, thank you for viewing Miami-Dade College TV.